Hey guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today, I am going to make for you a Mai Tai. This is kind of a long time coming. A while ago, there was a, a, a viewer that really had asked us to do a Trader Vix Mai Tai. And I thought long and hard about it. And you know, quite honestly, we can't really do a Trader Vix Mai Tai because Trader Vic, when he was making his Mai Tai, he used a 17-year-old Ray and nephew rum that actually, I think there's only like five models left in the world. And one of them, is on uh, the internet for $55,000. So what I thought that I would do instead was to give you my preferred specs on a Mai Tai. And then I think I may in the future do several Mai Tai episodes. The thing about a Mai Tai is that a Mai Tai, there's a ton of uh, tutorials on the internet for Mai Tais. You can find it all over YouTube. Uh, and I think that maybe just making you my own specific Mai Tai would be great. So a Mai Tai is basically a cocktail that was invented by Trader Vic in 1944 at his uh, Trader Vic's restaurant in Oakland, California. At the same time, Don the Beachcomber, which was his rival, had claimed to make, had to have claimed to have invent, invented the Mai Tai in 1933 at his Don the Beachcomber's self-titled restaurant in Hollywood, California. So there's a lot of, like a lot of drinks, there's a bunch of controversy surrounding this drink. Um, but I think that you will like my version of the Mai Tai, the, the preferred version that I like. Look at this, I have a couple of bar flies on my tins today, so we are uh, definitely the educated bar fly today. Har, har, har. Okay, cool, let's get into it. The first thing that, oh, another note too, is I know that I'm very, very, very into talking about making our own craft ingredients and making our own syrups, and I totally stand by that. That being said, Sometimes making our own ingredients are not, is not really that feasible. And so today, uh, this, co this cocktail calls for Orgeat. I'm gonna use uh, this Liquid Alchemist Orgeat. Um, I chose this because it was made uh, by a dude named Randy Tarlow in Los Angeles. And the syrups that he makes are pretty incredible. They're all uh, natural, there's no chemicals in them. Uh, they're really, really great. And what I like about this is that a lot of commercially made Orgeats will put citric acid into their orgeat and it has this sort of lemony kind of flavor. And this does not do that. This is basically literally just almond water, cane sugar, uh, a little bit of orange flower water, uh, and gum arabic. And so if you're not, you know, in, if you don't know what gum arabic is, gum arabic is used to make gum syrup. And what it does is when you put it inside simple syrup or any other kind of syrup, it gives it like a nice kind of thicker sort of uh, mouthfeel and quality to it. All right, cool. That was a mouthful, so let's get into our cocktail. The first thing we're gonna do is one ounce of lime juice, followed by, something fell over there, but that's okay. Half an ounce of orgeat. Half an ounce of orgeat. 0.75 or three quarters of an ounce of Curacao. Today we're using Pierre Ferrand Curacao, as I do. And to stay in the spirit of the Ray and Nephew, we are using Appleton Estate, which is imported by Ray and Nephew uh, in Jamaica. So they, I actually believe they run this distillery. Uh, so it calls for aged um, rum. So we're using Appleton aged Jamaican rum. And we'll do two ounces of aged rum. I'm gonna put that, I'll put that here. Yeah, cool. Get this out of the way. And then what we're gonna do is add a little bit of crushed ice. I'm gonna give it a nice, after we lock our tin, nice whip shake. Just to chill it, add some dilution. And then We're just gonna dump it in our glass. You know what, that glass is not big enough, so I am gonna get a heartier glass. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that is more like it. You want it to sit just below the rim of the glass. You want it to be a beautiful glass. You need to make sure that it's big enough. Then we're just gonna add a little crushed ice on top, like so. And garnish with a lime wheel and a little sprig of mint. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to make it into a bouquet, slap it on the old hand, release those oils, twist off the bouquet. Maybe we'll put that right in front of our lime wheel like that. And there you have it, my friends. The Mai Tai.